I'm John, your teacher. In this video, we'll learn eight phrasal verbs for money. Let's go. Number one, pay back. Hey, remember that $100 I loaned you last month? Yeah, I do. Why do you ask? It's the end of the month and the money is due. Oh, right. Let me grab my wallet. I forgot to pay you back. I forgot to pay you back the $100. Return money that you borrowed. She finally managed to pay back her student loans. He promised to pay back the money he borrowed next month. If you borrow money, make sure you have a plan to pay it back. Number two, save up. How come you're not ordering your normal cappuccino? Oh, I'm just trying to cut back on spending. Is there any reason? Yeah, I have my eyes on a new car. I'm saving up to buy it. I'm saving up to buy a new car. Save money over time for a particular purpose. Let's start saving up for a beautiful European vacation. They're saving up for their wedding. It's important to save up for emergencies. Number three, shell out. Are you still planning to get the latest iPhone model? Yeah, I've decided to do it. You know I love Apple. It's some serious cash. Are you sure about it? You just upgraded last year. I need the new model. You know that. Even if I have to shell out a ton of money for it. People shell out money for iPhones. Pay for something, especially when the cost is high. They had to shell out a lot of money for the house renovation. She shelled out a lot for a new designer dress. Don't shell out your money on unnecessary items. Number four, rake in. Your online store has been getting a lot of attention lately. Yeah, we've worked hard on marketing. You have to be making a profit now, right? Absolutely. We're raking it in. It's better than ever. They're raking in a lot of money. Earn a lot of money. Her business is raking in profits. The movie raked in millions at the box office. Find a job where you can rake in a good income. Number five, take out. That car repair must have cost a lot. Yeah, it was more than I had on hand. How did you manage to pay for it then? 
I didn't have a choice. I had to take out a loan. I had to take out a loan. Receive money from a bank. He decided to take out a loan for his startup. She took out a mortgage to buy her first house. Paying for things online is easier than taking out money to do it. Number six, pay off. How are you dealing with your student loan debt? Well, it's been a bit challenging, but I've been setting aside some money each month. That sounds like a wise strategy. Yeah, I think so too. I have to pay off all those loans. I have to pay off my student loans. Eliminate debt or a loan. She managed to pay off her student loans within five years. If you don't pay off your credit card on time, you'll have to pay interest. Paying off your debts on time can improve your credit score. Number seven, rip off. How did shopping at that new online store go? Not great. The product looked nothing like the picture. Plus, it was way too expensive for its quality. That's not good at all. You were excited about the deal. Yeah, but I feel like I got ripped off. That website ripped me off. Charge someone too much for something or Take advantage of them. Don't let dishonest merchants rip you off. She felt ripped off after buying a knockoff product. Researching prices can help prevent getting ripped off. Number eight, chip in. We're buying a gift for our teacher. Would you like to contribute? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, we're collecting $10 from each person. Here's my contribution. I'm glad to chip in for a great cause. I'm happy to chip in for the teacher. Contribute money for a specific purpose. Everyone chipped in to buy the office a new coffee machine. I'll chip in for the pizza. Chipping in can make big purchases more affordable for everyone. Quiz time. Pause the video for each question. Find the correct verb to describe the situations.
Thanks for watching Everything English with John. Please like, share, and subscribe. For more information or private classes, please visit my site, everythingenglishwithjohn.com.